there, I'm Sarah Miga, your go-to real estate expert and broker of Miga Homes Luxury Real Estate. If you're new here and interested in all things real estate, be sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking that little icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the video. I publish videos on a new real estate topic every week and you don't wanna miss anything. With that being said, today's topic in my newest series, Best Return on Investment Renovations, will consider many options for updating the landscaping of your home and whether this ultimately has a very good return for you in terms of an investment. Some of the most commonly asked about landscaping options are general curb appeal, privacy trees, pergolas, sheds, fenced in yard, and gardens. Now, landscaping is such a unique topic because there is no one size fits all approach and everybody's needs will vary. If you're looking to just spruce up the outside and wondering if it's necessary to completely renovate, then this will give you a good idea of what you should do, what kind of budget you should have, and things to think about in terms of avoiding if you're concerned about overspending. Item one, general curb appeal. For starters, general curb appeal is one of the most commonly asked questions on how expensive someone should go when handling their front landscaping. Do we rip out our concrete walkway and put brick pavers in? Do we add in lighting around the walkway? How many bushes, trees, and shrubs do we need? And more. Generally speaking, how much you should budget for for the front landscaping will depend on the price point of your home. For a home below $400,000 in Southeast Michigan, generally an all-in budget of around $15,000 for the front landscaping of your home should be sufficient to make your home look nice without breaking the bank. If the home is between $400,000 and $800,000, I recommend a budget of about $25K, and $800,000 plus, usually $35,000 to $40,000 would be adequate. Keep in mind, the budget goes up with the higher price points, but so does the cost because generally the land is bigger and materials will cost more to achieve the same look. If you're looking for popularity, neutral colored brick paver walkways with adjacent shrubs and trees are the most popular landscaping items. Of course, design and style varies, so make sure to pick something that will appeal to the majority of people. Item two, privacy trees. If you live in a home that does not have a lot of privacy, then adding in some privacy trees can be a great investment to create a bit of separation between you and your neighbors. Around 80% of buyers report that privacy is one of the most important things to them in making a decision to buy a home. That doesn't mean that you have to line the entire yard, but investing in a few big trees around the area where you'll be entertaining, most like around your deck or at the back of the house, could take you a far way. Item three. Pergolas. This is an interesting one because pergolas have become more popular over the last few years, but are still not widespread. Generally speaking, a pergola is a nice to have for aesthetic reasons, but doesn't really serve any real purpose unless it has curtains or a screened in room or lighting to set the mood in these cases. A screened in or enclosed space on the exterior is very desirable, but a pergola by itself doesn't do much for value. If you like pergolas, then have at it, but don't expect a buyer to go nuts over your pergola. Item four, sheds. Sheds are a great item to add if you have a large yard to store lawnmowers, gardening materials, anything excess, and more. They also add value on an appraisal and can be attractive to a buyer. The only caveat would be that the shed should be well-maintained so that it looks nice like the home. Otherwise, this can be an eyesore and ultimately a deterrent for some buyers. Item five, a fenced in yard. A fence is a hot topic in Michigan as some people really love them and others don't want a fence. There are some buyers who prefer it so that their dog can have a place to run around outside and then there are other buyers who think that they're an eyesore. Of course, keep in mind that there are many different types of fences, including but not limited to chain link, privacy, picket, metal, composite, vinyl, or wood. If you have a tall, clean, and neutral fence, then this can be desirable. But if you have a wood or chain leak fence or something that isn't as well maintained, then this might not be as good of an investment. Item six, gardens. This is one of those items that I say to you, you that you should add in if it's important to you, but most likely will not be a deciding factor in whether someone else is gonna buy your house. A garden is a nice to have, but it also requires upkeep. It is not always aesthetically pleasing especially if it requires wire fencing to keep animals from eating your crops. If you want a garden, go for it, but it's not something that is gonna add value to your home. I hope that I've given you a lot to think about. 
and that you've learned a lot from today's video. Please subscribe to my channel as I release new videos every week. And tune into next week's episode, Will I Get a Return on Investment? by adding a home theater in my basement. As always, if you think you may want to make a move in the next year, give me a call today and set up a consultation as I create custom moving plans for all of my clients up to a year in advance. And don't worry, if I'm not able to personally assist you, I am very well connected and can refer you to a similarly qualified agent anywhere in the world. In fact, if you haven't yet had a chance, please check out another one of my videos on why you should get a realtor referral for an agent when relocating. It will teach you all about how realtor to realtor referrals work and what to expect when you ask me for one. You can also check out my other series on relocation, selling a home, buying a home, new construction, downsizing, buying and selling simultaneously, and more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.